and then we can add our our salmon pieces. I burned my finger, guys. Don't do that ever. And welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today, you guys, we have another one of these trying out someone else's recipe videos. Today, we are trying out another recipe by Sam from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken is an awesome plant-based blog with tons of vegan recipes. And recently, I saw this recipe that looks amazing. The visuals are there, okay? So Sam did a vegan salmon recipe, and oh my gosh, I mean, look at these pictures. It looks amazing. Thing. I probably can't make it like this, but I can certainly try, okay? So last time I actually tried Sam's tiramisu recipe, which I made a video, and you guys seem to very much enjoy it. I'll link that down below if you are interested. It's kind of a mess. Um, there might be some wine involved, but it was a fun time, so go check it out. Link is down below, but today we are making Sam's vegan salmon. So let's get started. <laughs> So firstly, I'm gonna link Sam's recipe down below. So if you need the measurements or anything like that, it's all gonna be below because it's her recipe. So gotta give her the credit. So first step is to press the tofu. So I am pressing the tofu right now. As we speak, we are pressing some extra firm tofu. And then now we're gonna make the marinade, everything in a blender. So firstly, we have some vegetable broth. And then we have a tiny piece of beet. I believe this is for the color. We're gonna throw that in. We also have a nori sheet that has been torn. So we're gonna throw that in, that's for the seafood flavor. And then we have some spices. We have turmeric, we have salt, and we have garlic powder. So we're gonna throw that in. And then we also have some miso paste. So that goes in here. And we have apple cider vinegar. And I decided to add in my little touch, okay, because I want this to taste very seafoody. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of kelp powder. This is just gonna add a nice little, you know, a little bit more of an intense seafoody flavor. Maybe I'll add like a quarter teaspoon, not too much. That's not part of her recipe, but I'm just adding it. And there you go, that's the marinade. Is that everything? Oh my God, it seems simple. Is that all? Oh my gosh. So now I blend this until it's nice and smooth, so. Let's blend. All right, you guys. Oh my God, look at this red color. That tiny little piece of beet. Beets are like potent, man. Look at this, look at this. Smells interesting. The marinade is ready. And now we can prepare the tofu. So I have the tofu. I, honestly, I've been pressing it for maybe about 10 minutes. I think that's fine. We have extra firm tofu over here. And okay, I'm gonna follow Sam's instructions on how to cut it. So she says, cut the tofu half lengthwise, then in half lengthwise, again, making four long skinny strips. Okay, so I think this is what she means here. Half lengthwise, and then each of these, half and half. Beautiful, fantastic. There we go, we've got that. Okay, I wonder if it'll be even better if you freeze the tofu and then thaw it. Maybe I'll try that next time. Okay, so apparently we take a chopstick on either side of the tofu, like so, I think, so that we don't cut it all the way. Slice the tofu partway through, repeat it about uh, one eighth apart to give the tofu a flaky texture. So I have to be very careful with this. Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting, okay, okay. I think I need to make it even smaller, the slices. Ooh, we're trying to give it that flaky look, you know, that flaky salmon look. Ooh, this is quite genius. Ooh, you guys, look at this. I mean, pretty legit. I like this method. Okay, so then we repeat with all the other pieces and then I will see you in a second. All right, you guys, so this is the flakiness. Okay, I think I did a good job on a couple of these. Some of these, not so much, but you know what? It's fine, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we have the marinade already. So we're gonna put it here. I think I need to layer. Let's layer the marinade. Ooh, ooh. Maybe I'll do it like this. Being very careful. Ooh. Look at that potent color. So we got the marinade in there. I feel like I'm gonna stain everything red. <laughs> Ooh, marinade actually. Hmm, tastes pretty legit. Now what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna let this sit for at least 30 minutes, it says, okay? Minimum of 30 minutes, we're gonna let it marinate. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it marinate for a minimum of 30 minutes, and then we can make our salmon. Oh my God, very exciting. All right, guys, so it has been maybe a couple of hours, actually. I decided to keep it marinating a little bit longer, you know, just let all the juices just soak up. And let's let's just see what it looks like. Let's open this up. Ooh, look at that red color. Oh my gosh. Now what we need to do is take some more nori and we're just gonna cut it up into pieces like similar size to our tofu. So I don't know, okay. Something like this, perhaps. So I need four of these. Beautiful. All right, so now we have our nori pieces. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take each piece, we're gonna put a piece of nori. Just be very careful. Oh, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna put a piece of nori on this side, the bottom, the part where we didn't cut. No, it's not fine. Ah! I think we have to dunk the nori in the sauce. And then we put it on, ooh, look at that. And then we coat this in cornstarch. So this is a mixture of cornstarch and tapioca flour because I ran out of cornstarch. So hopefully it'll do the trick, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh my gosh, why am I nervous? Ah! Is this gonna retain the color? Oh. We'll find out. Okay, there you go, we got, we got that. So I guess this is supposed to be the salmon skin situation. Very creative, Sam, I love it. So again, we're gonna coat that part, and then, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Just coat it nicely. Gets a little messy, my friends. All right. All right, guys, now the moment of truth. We're gonna cook this up. Let's add some oil on a nonstick pan, and then we can add our, our salmon pieces. Burn my finger, guys. Don't do that ever. Yeah, that's gonna blister. <laughs> All right, ooh, more. Let's not use my hands. Okay. I'm so excited, but also very nervous. It looks very uh, pink. It looks almost artificial. Okay, I'm gonna try flipping it, because I'm impatient. Oh my God. Oh, interesting. Okay, it doesn't look the same as Sam. <laughs> Maybe it's the tapioca starch. Ooh, you know what? That looks like it's kind of legit. I think it's gonna be promising. It smells pretty good. It smells kind of fishy. All right, guys. I mean, it doesn't look as nice as Sam, but I still like the way it looks. I don't know why mine's like extra, extra like red. <laughs> Now we're gonna put a little bit of dill on top just for decoration. Mm. And then we have some lemon wedges. Oh my God. You guys have no idea how excited I am right now. <laughs> that looks pretty legit, you guys. Okay, I can't wait to try it. We're gonna have to try it like immediately. Oh my God, you guys, I mean, presentation wise, it gets an A plus, okay? It looks delicious. I have no other words, I need to try this. <laughs> okay, let's give this a try. Why am I nervous? Why am I so nervous? Okay. Mmm. You guys, that is actually very impressive. Oh my. Give me a moment here. I just need a moment. My friends, that is delicious. It definitely has that kind of salmon-y, fishy flavor. And oh my God, especially when you chew it with that nori piece, it actually like kind of reminds me of salmon. Oh my God, this might be like one of the closest things to salmon I've ever tasted as a vegan. Very impressive, hold on. The peas with the nori and the cornstarch 
definitely creates a kind of like salmon skin, like fish skin, like texture. This is definitely worth making. It was actually really easy to make. The texture is very much there as well. It's very nice and like kind of slightly like flaky texture. We also have that really delicious flavor. You guys, this is definitely worth trying. Next time, I think I'm gonna marinate it for like overnight just to make sure all of that marinade gets like soaked in. But that is so delicious and you guys definitely need to try it. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed. All right, you guys, so that is the Vegan Salmon by It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. Sam, you've done it again. This is absolutely amazing. I am very much impressed. If you miss salmon, guys, you need to try this out. It's actually so impressive. And I do recommend adding in that little bit of kelp powder. I think that also, you know, I'm sure it helps a little bit if you want more of that fishy taste, but I'm sure it's still delicious without it if you don't have kelp powder. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to have another little piece. I can't wrap my head around this, okay? And it seems just, you know, it seems like very few ingredients. will be linked down below if you guys want to try it out it is so delicious i think it's really worth it and um yeah thank you so much for watching you guys don't forget to check out sam from it doesn't taste like chicken make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know if there's any other vegan recipes you want me to try out because i always have a lot of fun trying out these recipes thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye